Hello everyone, my name is Nora Vlatsikman. Please allow me to present my article about a powerful plant disease classification based on ensemble learning. For the plant, we will start with context. We will deal with the problem and its solution, going through objective and contribution. The rest of this presentation is as follows. The next section will present plant disease in detail. Section 3 presents the different deep learning architectures that we will use to design our classification model. Then we will present our proposed approach. The data set use will be detailed as well as the evaluation measures afterward. The results of experiments will be presented before concluding. The economy of several African countries such as Morocco depends heavily on agriculture. In order to meet the huge market demand, countries need to significantly increase their production. The quality of production is essentially linked to the management of plant diseases. Thus, if these diseases are not diagnosed and treated in time, they will affect production. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, plant diseases have increased considerably in recent years, and this is due to the climate change, globalization, etc. Generally, plant diseases are identified by visual examination by the farmer, and the quality of the diagnosis is strongly linked to the expertise and the professional knowledge of the farmer. In it, this expertise is acquired after several years of close experience with plants and diseases that affect them. Plant diseases occur when external actors infect the plant and cause changes in, in, physiological, in physiological and biochemical behavior. The symptoms of most plant diseases appear of the leaf, on the leaves. Careful examination of the shape, color, and even texture of plant leaves plays a big role in the diagnosis of these diseases. In order to overcome this problem, artificial intelligence and image processing have been used to propose system for plant diseases recognition and detection. The aim of such application is to use machine learning or deep learning algorithms to efficiently detect whether a plant is diseased or not from a plant follow. The Internet of Things is also used to design efficient systems in intelligent agriculture. Deep and automatic learning have become a set for the detection and classification of medical images where several approaches have proven to be very efficient. Objective and contribution. A large number of deep learning architectures can be used to design a powerful classification model for plant disease detection. CNN, MobileNet, AlexNet, Inception V3, and VGG16 will be used and tested to identify the behavior of each architecture. Each architecture allows a relatively different behavior from the others, but they are complementary. Thus, it has been noticed that some architectures fail to correctly classify some, some plants. The other archi architectures are able to classify correctly. Based on this observation, we will propose in this presentation a classification approach based on the learning set that combine the power of the five architectures. And to evaluate our proposed approach, we will propose a comparative study between the soft and hard and simple based classification as well as with other approaches from the literature. Plants are living beings, the majority of which are attached on the earth by their roots. This characteristic makes that the behavior of these plants is strictly related to their environment. Plants are subjective to various diseases that these diseases can be grouped by regions. Moreover, as for humans, 
diseases that can affect plants, disrupt and or modify their vital function. The, the different diseases that can affect plants can be categorized into three classes, fungal, bacterial, and viral. In the deep learning architecture, CNN, also called ConvNet, is generally composed of a sequence of convolution layers, pooling layers, max, min, pooling, and at the end, one or more fully connected layers. The difference between the neural network deep learning architectures is essentially in the prearrangement of the neural network components. Also, a large number of parameters have to be fixed for a given deep learning architecture, such as the number of layers, the number of neurons in each layer, the size of the filters mask, the weight of the neurons, the activation function to be used, the best learner weight obtained, the following table list, the most used architecture specifying for each architecture the number of parameters, the author, the year, and the depth. Now I will show you some architectures with their definition. We we'll start with AlexNet architecture, VGG architecture, Inception V3 architecture, mobile net architecture. Several classification algorithms can be used for plant disease classification. Each classification algorithm has strengths and weaknesses. Also, it is often noticed that diseases are misclassified by some classifiers, while another has correctly classified them and vice versa. Based on this principle, it is possible to combine the performance of a set of classification algorithms to obtain a single robust classification model. The ensemble learning is a meta classifier allowing to combine similar or conceptually different machine learning classifiers by majority or plurality voting. Ensemble learning is often used in professional applications and has helped to win several competitions. Several ensemble learning techniques can be used. Majority and hard voting, weighted majority voting, soft voting. Now we'll uh, see performance measures. In images classification, precision, recall, and accuracy, are the most evaluation measures used. We evaluate in multi-class classification algorithm. Their values are the mean of all the values for each classes. The plant village is a well-known data set used to evaluate the plant disease classification algorithms. It's contained infected and the healthy crop leaves images. The data set contains 87K RGB images classified into 38 subsets. The data set is provided with the training data set containing 70,295 images and validate data set with 17. 1,572 images. The proposed approach. The objective of this work is to propose a powerful approach for plant disease classification based on ensemble learning. Indeed, we have opted in the first step to the design of a classification model of plant diseases using five deep learning architectures namely VGG16, AlexNet, Inception V3, CNN, and MobileNet. When we, we design classification models using the five architectures distinctively, each of the five classification models has different behavior. We notice that after a judicious study of the classification errors for each of the five architectures that they are complete. Thus, we notice that for each image in the database, at least one of the five architectures managed 
the, to classify it correctly. From there, we thought of combining the performance of the five architectures in an ensemble learning architecture in order to propose a powerful approach for the classification of plant diseases. We will implement the two ensemble learning techniques, the hard voting approach and the soft voting approach. We will compare these two approaches and also compare them with the recent approaches in the literature we will implement the two ensemble learning techniques. For the hard voting approach and the soft voting approach, we will compare these two approaches and also compare them with the recent approaches in the literature. We will implement the two ensemble learning techniques. In our study, we will test each of the five deep learning architectures to evaluate the behavior of each one. Then we will test the two ensemble learning proposed approaches. For the CNN architecture, we will use three layers depth. And for the VGG16, AlexNet Inception V3 and MobileNet, the number of epochs is 25. Table two presents the accuracy of the five deep learning architectures, the accuracy of the soft ensemble learning and the accuracy of the hard ensemble learning. We notice from the classification results presented in the table one that each of the five architectures has different behavior and with different values of precision, recall and accuracy. We notice that the Inception V3 architecture had the lowest values in terms of accuracy followed by AlexNet, followed by AlexNet. The AlexNet, CNN, and MobileNet architectures had the same accuracy score, but in terms of recall, we can say that the MobileNet architecture is the best. However, the proposed ensemble learning approaches have significantly improved the classification results and especially using the hard technique with a value equal to 0.99. We can say that the use of the votes of the five architectures allowed us to have the almost 100% of a classification rate. This is some pr uh, prediction for different architectures. Conclusion, ensemble learning consists in combining a number of classification models in order to make them complementary in terms of classification accuracy, thus assuming that at least one of the classification models can correctly classify an image that the other classification models have misclassified. The objective of this work is to propose an ensemble learning classification approach based on five deep learning architectures, namely VGG16, AlexNet, Inception V3, CNN, and MobileNet. We have implemented two techniques of ensemble learning, soft and hard. The ensemble learning using hard allowed us to significantly improve the classification rate of plant diseases with a rate of almost 100%. We can say that our proposed approach can be effectively used in smart agriculture to automatically classify plant diseases. These are some references and thank you for your attention.